Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with pocket option. All right, and on today's video, I'm going to make use of this strategy again. I have a very powerful method. You can make use of this strategy for a perfect entry. All right, so the video will be very short, so make sure that you watch the video or through the end, but I'm only going to touch the very important part, watching is to say before you enter a trade onto this video. And over here, I'm making use of three indicator, two a moving average combination, one um, stochastic oscillator and one parabolic SCR. All right, the setup of my first um, moving average come with a period of four. The moving average is EMA. On the styles here, I use a white color and I take my line to be on two pixel. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. Um, the second moving average come with a period of 17. The moving average is EMA as well. Um, on the styles right here, I make use of this color and I take my line to be on two pixel. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. Um, the parabolic SCR indicator come with an acceleration of 0 0.028. Um, the maximum acceleration come with 0 0.28. On the style spot here, I use green color. That's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit save. The last indicator I use is stochastic oscillator with a K period of 16. Um, the D period is 3. The smoothing period is 3. And the moving average is EMA. Make sure that all the indicators have EMA as a moving average. On the styles right here, make sure I take all the lines to be on two pixels. So that's pretty much all I do. So when you're done, you hit save. So um, this strategy is a one minute strategy, 30 second um, candle time frame. I'm also using it on a Heineke Ashi candlestick. Um, like I said on my last video, this works very good on a regular market. I've tried it with an RTC, but I find it more effective on a regular market. So right now we're putting up my currency PA up all right and when i get a good moment i'm going to come down and enter a trade and of course i'm going to explain in details what you need to see before you enter a trade all right all right guys over here i'm actually checking out a moment but it's not perfect yet but let me use this as an explanation and anytime you're going for a down trade the number one thing you always need to confirm is your parabolic sr make sure that the parabolic sr three dot is giving you a very strong confirmation of a downtrend and make sure that it's actually above the candlestick the second thing is your boat moving average the intersection needs to happen all right and make sure that the move the boat line is actually giving you a downtrend confirmation all right so with your candlestick only make sure that you are confirming this on a very strong candlestick giving you a downtrend confirmation on your sarcastic oscillator, the intersection of both lines is to happen at the overbought condition and make sure that the both line of your sarcastic come down to touch the down line of this before you enter a trade. What I mean is that make sure that you have a very powerful confirmation of a downtrend. Make sure that the both line actually reaches the down line of the stochastic oscillator before you enter a trade. All right. So let's check this out. What is up? As you can see right here, there is a reversal in this position. But like I said, always make sure that you're having a very strong confirmation with your stochastic oscillator. Oscillator. Make sure that the boat line actually touches the down line, which is the yellow line of your stochastic oscillator. The intersection of your boat moving average needs to be giving you a very strong confirmation of a downtrend alongside with your parabolic SCR before you enter a trade. All right. Another thing is to always make sure that you're placing your trade on a very stable candlestick. But as you can see right here, there's a reversal in this position and the rest candlestick has been choppy. So it means that we can no longer follow this particular trend. So all you just have to do is to keep analyzing. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm finding a good moment for an up trade. So right now I'm going to enter this trade. Um, real quick so anytime you're going for an up trade there's some certain things you need to confirm all right the number one thing is to make sure that you have your parabolic scr below the candlestick and not only that make sure that you're having a very strong confirmation of the parabolic dot line the second thing is to make sure that your both moving average intersect below the candlestick as well giving you a very strong confirmation of an uptrend and then the last thing is your stochastic oscillator like i mentioned earlier on if you're going for an uptrade this time around make sure that your stochastic boot line intersects in a very strong oversold condition it's confirming that so make sure that the boot line intersects in a very strong oversold condition and then giving you a very strong uptrend always make sure that the boot line touches the upper line if you're going for an uptrade or down line if you're going for a downtrade i hope you understand a good one there guys Let's keep analyzing okay guys over here i'm actually checking a good moment but as you can see right here the confirmation of my stochastic has not happened yet but i'm waiting for the next candlestick all right as you can see this is actually a very powerful moment the intersection of my boat moving average happening here my parabolic sr is giving me a confirmation this is actually a very powerful moment and you can see right now my stochastic line has touches the upper line right there 
let me enter this trade uh, real quick this is a very powerful trend so another thing you need to put in mind is the candlestick so you make sure that you're only placing your trade on a very strong candlestick it's very important all right do not place your trade on a choppy candlestick or a smallish candlestick always make sure that you're placing your trade on a very strong candlestick the intersection of your button moving average must happen and the boat line must be giving you a confirmation of a strong uptrend the same thing applicable with your parabolic um sar and of course with your stochastic oscillator all right let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one we have like 23 seconds left a good one when the money and that all right so right now i want to find a down trade so that i can uh explain what you need to say on that all right okay guys so i'm actually checking this out all right um this is how i analyze the market uh, someone actually make mention for me to explain how i analyze the markets though i'm still gonna make a video about that but let me just show you here how i analyze the market so immediately i open um a particular currency ps and i see this position i do not enter a trade like i said i always make sure i confirm all the indicator i have before i enter a trade all right so over here you can see that the intersection just happened and the candlestick under it are very good and there's something applicable with my parabolic sr out my parabolic sr is actually giving me a very strong confirmation and when you check my stochastic you see that my stochastic has not touched the downline so the only thing i'm waiting for right now is for my boat line to touch this downline in a very good condition before i enter a trade and you can see it happens right now the boat line has touched the downline of the stochastic um, accelerator and when that happened i'm not going to enter this trade straight up i still need to confirm to be very sure if this candlestick is a strong one because you can see the candlestick is actually strong so what i'm going to do next is to enter this trade all right so this is how i analyze the markets so if i find out that all my indicators are in a good position but the candlestick i wanted to enter a trade on reverse or choppy or look small i'm not going to enter the trade until i have a strong confirmation of a candlestick before i place the trade i hope you understand so guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. We have a 26 seconds left. Okay, guys, we have less than four seconds. All right. Good one there, guys, for the money on that. Um, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. Like I said, I just want this video to be very short so that you guys will watch it all through the end. Please always make sure that you put everything I say here in mind. Try this strategy and let me know in the comment section if it works for you all right it's a very powerful one minute strategy that i've been using for like two weeks now and it has been very powerful so guys if you love the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my last upload i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one